Today we're going to play a quick little trivia game. We're going to look at two different YouTube videos and figure out who copied who. Stepping in the red corner we have Dan Locke. Stepping in the blue corner we have Copycat Kevin. The goal of this matchup is to figure out who copied who with a YouTube video. Let's search for social media marketing within the YouTube search bar. We first see Kevin David with a titled post of how to start social media marketing as a beginner in 2019, step by step. The video was released one year ago. If you scroll down a little bit, we see Dan Locke with his video titled, How to Start Social Media Marketing as a Beginner, Step by Step. Oh my gosh, wow, it's Dan posting a video with the exact same title as Kevin. Dan saw that Kevin was able to get nearly 750,000 views on his video and wanted his piece of the pie. Dan messed up because if you add the year and the title of the video like Kevin did, then you can just update the video every year by changing the title and thumbnail and it stays super relevant. But we're trying to figure out who copied who. Maybe it was actually Kevin that saw Dan getting a lot of the views on his video and decided to make the same video. We're going to first click on Dan Locke's video to see the exact date. Dan released his video on January 25th, 2019. He also does not look happy that I'm making this video. Now it's time to see when Kevin released his video. Who copied who? Kevin released his video on December 18th, 2018. That must mean that Dan copied Kevin. This is a profound moment in YouTube history. The guy who copies other people got a bunch of views and then had his video idea copied by Dan. I wonder if Dan copies other creators. Let's do a search for 10 habits of highly successful people. He almost copied Team Fearless and Top Thinks videos. The title is almost a 100% match. Let's search for how to be confident in interviews. Hmm, that's interesting. Linda's video received 1.6 million views and then Dan copies the title exactly and receives over 100,000 views for his video. Just for fun, here's another couple videos that are copied from other creators. What's funny is when you search for how to grow your business in sales faster, Dan actually copies himself, makes some content in 2018, then just make the exact same video a couple years later with a different suit. No one will notice or care. What actually sparked this video was two things. One was the excellent video by CoffeeZilla interviewing Alex Chafrin and how Dan Locke basically stole his idea that he's worked on for years. And then two, some of Dan's recent videos and thinking they looked awfully similar to something else I saw online. After a few minutes of looking, I remember the subreddit data is beautiful. And so I checked out that page. Sure enough, he basically plagiarized from the moving bar graph idea. If you search within YouTube for top 10 wealthiest people, three of the top results look similar. That's because they are. These three videos total 17.8 million views. 17.8 million views over three videos. Then you look at Dan Locke's videos using the exact same style, and he basically plagiarized the idea from Data is Beautiful, who makes these all the time. On social media, and especially YouTube, we are all influenced by the content we consume. I'm influenced every day by something I see. If you're on YouTube enough, you can see people's influence on other channels. Casey Neistat influenced hundreds of creators. But the beauty of YouTube is having creators take a cool idea and add their own spin to it. They make something unique to them. On TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, there are many examples of cool challenges or viral videos going around. And the point of the trend or challenge or viral concept is that everyone joins in and adds their own rendition. That's what makes it cool. One person dances one way, the other dances just a little bit differently. Or one person does the content with a family member at the beach. Whatever it is, content flourishes when you take something cool and everyone adds their own personality to it. Where influence becomes copying or plagiarizing is when people like Dan Locks just straight rip the video idea and make something identical and give no reference or credit to the originator of the idea. Even worse is when you put your image or logo on the video as if it was your idea. I hope those of you who follow this channel criticize me if I ever don't give credit where credit is due. Recently, I've been working on providing more references to where I learn concepts or use them in my videos. In my opinion, that's being a responsible creator. Give credit where it's due. It honestly really pisses me off when I see creators like Dan straight plagiarize content for his financial gain and to position himself as this all-knowing person of wealth. It rips away from what makes the platform so amazing. What I want you to take away from this video is that most people on YouTube are content creators first. We make content and hope people click and watch. I'm playing the same game as Dan. What content can I make to get people to watch? Let's be real, that is the point of YouTube. What content can I make to get people to watch. 
Where it becomes a problem is when content is stolen, copied, or is misleading viewers. People like Dan are content creators. Don't get it twisted. They are YouTubers who sell a course and a monthly membership, not some business mogul. I know because I'm that person too. I create content and I do some real estate on the side. I am about to start mentorship programs for aspiring YouTubers, as well as doing one for teaching people how to house hack like I do outside of YouTube. So in a way, my business is not that much different than some of these gurus, but I will never position myself as some business mogul and copy content so I can be seen and respected as one of the best entrepreneurs on social media. When you understand the social media game, all of this makes sense. Copycat Kevin, Dan Locke, and many others, especially people in the make money online niche, are all doing what I like to call playing the YouTube algorithm game. They see what titles and thumbnails work, and they basically just make the exact same content with a similar thumbnail while using the exact same title. That's the game. I just told you how to make six figures on YouTube. As much as I rip on Dan and copycat Kevin, they make boatloads of money. If you only care about money, they won the game. Dan created a fictitious business mogul and releases YouTube videos every single day that play into the algorithm. He gets views and a certain amount of his audience will become paying customers of his course and enter into that never ending funnel that leads to a $20,000 credit card bill. As much as I love YouTube, the blueprint for succeeding on the platform has been released if you know where to look and how to analyze content. Many niches rely on specific search results. With as many videos that have been released on the platform, it's easy to see what videos get views. And so creatives are left with a tough choice. Do you try and recreate the wheel with your own cleverly crafted title and artistic thumbnail and cool unique content that no one has thought of before? Or do you look at what works and basically create the same content? If you're aspiring to make it on YouTube, then being heavily influenced by thumbnails and titles is what helps you grow the quickest. By analyzing what titles and thumbnails get the most clicks, you can basically leverage your way up to getting a lot of views. When that becomes a problem though, is when the person making the content is a charlatan or is just stealing another person's content and uploading it as their own. It's okay to be influenced and jump on trends. It's not okay to copy and steal. I love YouTube and want it to continue being a place where creatives can make unique and valuable content. Be careful if you copy content though, you may be next. Thanks so much for watching.